Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And yes, I'm sure you're getting tired of, well, maybe not, because who could get tired of reticulas and fragments? And today's reticula is triple, um, triple E. And I, I had a hard time drawing triple E, but I love it. Maria just made it look so easy. And on the step outs, I had a difficult time following it. But when I watched her draw it, it just came alive. So these are Tripoli. E, and here's a fragment that I've put in it. Here's another fragment that I've started in there. But let's um, let's do one on a oh I I colored this with um, a little uh, I don't remember, it was either, I stained this little tile with watercolor or uh, a tear or whatever, but they're, they're stained. So I'm going to use those because they're going to be fun. So I'm going to do um, Tripoli on, Tripoli, whatever, I always say it wrong, on this little round tile. And you're going to be surprised how easy it is. I'm going to start out by drawing my triangle. And I want it large because I'm going to use it as a place for fragments. We're talking about space for reticula and this is our um, Tripoli reticula. And then I'm just going to start and I'm going to draw another one. It's going to be fairly close. And I'm going to come over and make the L. So, or I'm going to come draw back. I kind of think it looks like a nose. And I call it an L because I'm a little dyslexic, but it's a backwards L. And then I'm going to come down and draw the rest of my triangle. Then I'm going to do it again. Come down, angle over, and draw the rest. And I'm just going to keep rotating around my... area until I have all my Tripoli's drawn. And they're not the same. They're every little section's different. So now I can start another one. I'm just going to draw right along here and L out then come down and draw my triangle. And I'm going to go clear over to that spot so that I can I can actually draw anywhere. I've got some right here I can draw. Come down. If it only has five sections, that's okay. If I want, I could go all the way over and make that one only have five sections, and that's okay. It doesn't have to have six. I used to think I needed to draw this on a grid. And I got so obsessed with it wasn't each one of the little sections weren't absolutely perfect that I didn't like it. And when I realized they could be all different sizes and the bigger they are for doing it as a reticula, the better. Come all the way over and then come and draw that line down. So you can see how simple it is to draw this particular reticula and you can just keep going and I just want them to be big spaces And that one got a little one in there, but it's okay. I just think that that is just, it just is so much fun on a round tile. And I've about got it filled up. And I remember I want them to be big. And so sometimes I, I get them kind of little, and I, I, but I want them to be big, so I have to work at making them big. And there they are on the round tile. 
here's one on a square and you can see if you were to do a string you could fill up that string and now we want to pick a reticula I mean a fragment here we go again a fragment to go inside of these so this was one I really liked so I'm going to work on it and it was a very simple little fragment we just color in the corner and round it and one little line I call it you know that's a form of crescent moon and I'll do that on every single one and then we can come back in and I'm going to shade this but you can see how this just as a reticula and then picking a fragment to go in there it makes my Zentangle art more free more mind freeing then if I think I've got to draw a different tangle pattern every day I, you know if I just want to sit down and draw I can draw a fragment inside of a reticula whether the reticula be a grid or one of these that you you know a triangle shapes or one of these really freeing ones Huggins um, Cadence, Tripoli, just to name a few, but you can see how gorgeous this is, and it's simple, very simple. And there we have it all done. Now we're going to color it. And I have a new um, color on my website, a new And pencil. these are my favorite pencils. They're Prisma color pencils. And this is rose color. And I'm just going to add a little rose. Oh, look right there. I forgot one. Isn't that funny? That's the first place I went to put in my color. And there was one that I didn't get and so I'm just going to put a little bit of rose just at each one of these little tops of that round circle throughout my whole tile and this will help I need it to dry the ink to dry before I um, start to blend this with and I'm going to blend with an odorless paint thinner and so I need it to dry so this if I do the whole thing it it will have dried by the time I get done and the good thing about this if I've made a mistake um, it's not going to show that much and I'm using odorless paint thinner low odor paint thinner and I use any brand and I put it in a little tiny tub and it has a, a um, sponge in there this was dry so I'm going to fill it up and it's going to soak in to that little sponge and just make it much easier for me to uh, manage so I'm going to take a fresh um, a brand new um, shading stump and whoops is that brand new no it's not it's got a little bit of so I'm just going to clean it off with my emery board there I cleaned it off and now I'm going to moisten it and then I'm going to blend and it will blend just like a watercolor except it do, it's not as wet and I can get some dark shading down um, and then blend it out to the light area 
if I see some um, kind of gray, I might not have let my pen dry enough. But I'm okay with that. But you can see how that blending, how that's just adding that little pop of color. And I like to blend it until we don't see that line, I blend out that line. And there we have it shaded in pink. And then we can also go back and, um, and shade with a, um, a graphite pencil if we want. We can come back in here. and just give it some graphite. You can see how I'm just putting a little bit of graphite all around the outside edge and then I can shade that out. And it helps it stand out. Great tangle, lots of fun. Got to put my cap back on my orderless paint thinner and then I can travel with it. That's what I like about the little tiny odorless paint thinner pots is I can put it in my um, travel bag of pens and pencils. So here we have um, Tripoli and as a frag as a reticula and we start of a fragment there and a great finished tile with a fragment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's a great way to relax and have a great time. Thanks again and tangle every day.